down the spider guard. Okay, so first, just the spider guard. Your partner is going to use his feet and his hands to hold. Okay, so his, in this case, his feet are in my bicep. His hands are hooking my cuff with my sleeves. And he can do any spider guard that he wants. So generally, a classic spider guard is foot in the bicep, hand holding the sleeve, some extension, some motion. Okay, so he's going to be very light on his, his hip. All right, he's pivoting on the back of his spine towards his butt. Okay, so in this case, we're going to work to pass. Okay, you don't need to really pass the spider guard. What you really need to do is attack the spider guard. Okay, so if you end up blocking the feet, always a good idea. But we're going to work to break it down so you're more comfortable in the spider guard. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to put my foot in towards the hip, underneath the butt, and I'm going to actually enter the spider guard. A lot of guys like to back up, break away, choose their distance, but we're going to enter and play into it. So you're kind of playing into the guy's game, but you're doing it for a reason. Okay, in this case, I'm going to drop my hip to the side. So way out to the side now. So instead of backing directly up, we're backing to the side. All right, so we're working to collapse this leg. Not so easy always, okay? If it was, that would be great. You'd be passed right away, but you have this foot hook now, but you did that intentionally. Okay, so even if you pass here, he may be able to bring his leg in, and now he's playing inside, but you've eliminated the spider guard. Okay, so you're attacking the spider. So we're here. In this case now, we're backing way out of the way, and we're working now to pass this leg. Okay, when we pass the leg, I'm gonna drop my elbow into the side of the ankle, here. Okay, and free the foot from my bicep. Because just doing this is going to spin him underneath your leg. Okay, this is for maybe more advanced guys. He's going to get underneath and behind you. Okay, so you're using your forearm now. Okay, so I'm rotating into the heel with my elbow, turning my thumb away, kind of like hitchhiking motion. Okay, hitchhiking the foot off. The foot shouldn't break off that easily also. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to make him pay attention to my hand that I'm balancing on. So I'm doing this motion. He's going to try and reach to the hand, or he's going to reach underneath my leg. Okay? So in this case, now that we've accomplished this because you have lots of space ready for him to move, now you're going to break this grip. Okay? Or you're going to hold if you can't break the grip. Now you can accomplish your goal by turning the entire spider guard over. Now you can begin to pass. This is breaking down the spider guard. Okay? Let's go back again. Spider guard, step yourself way off to the side, okay? If you balance over here, this is fine. If your balance is comfortable here, this is good. The guy's going to reach to go underneath your leg, try some rotation, okay? You're going to hitchhike your hand off and turn him off to the side. If he rotates under still, this is great. Rotates under still, look, peel yourself away, pass the guard, okay? Breaking down the spider guard.